Hello everybody, welcome to the Swedish Car Guy. My name is Adam. On this channel I will do car reviews, car products and car meets. In today's episode we're gonna test drive a Ford Focus RS from 2018. And if you like this content don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also the notification bell so you don't miss out when I release a new video. to the channel. Thank you. Uh, what car are we in right now? Uh, we're in my 2018 Ford Focus RS edition model. Nice. Uh, yeah. So for how long have you owned this car? Uh, I bought it in February last year, so just about one and a half year now. Uh, have you done any modifications to the car? Nothing wild, just an uh, open air filter and uh, different air hoses for the intake and then a lowering kit. So, uh, how much power does this car make now? Uh, from factory it should be 345 horsepower and I'm guessing just around the same still. Okay, uh, so are you pleased with the car right now? Yeah, uh, definitely pleased with it. Uh, very comfortable car for a long time driving and fun car for small roads. So, uh, do you have any future modifications you're gonna do to the car or just leave it? As it is. Nah, I'm probably gonna retune it at some point to around 400 and 450 horsepower. Uh, should be doable, basically just with an uh, intercooler upgrade and uh, ECU tune. So 450 horses when you do that, is it? Yeah, that should be possible. That's really nice in a really comfortable car, because I don't know if you can see, but this is uh, the recovery seats from factory as well. Yeah. Uh, do you think they are com comfortable? Yeah, they're actually quite nice. Uh, we went to Nürburgring uh, at Easter, driving it down all the way down there. It's no problem at all. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to uh, this uh, car review. Uh, now I'm in uh, Mikkel's uh, Focus RS 2018 model. And uh, I feel instantly that the the seats is really good. They are uh, Recaro Sportler CS seats, if I don't uh, remember it wrong, right? Yeah. Yes. And you got a six speed manual, really nimble, easy to shift. Uh, it's also really easy to drive uh, a little bit too fast in this car. And uh, it's got really nice short shifting. As you can see in the moment here, so it's really easy to drive. A little bit uh, sensitive on the clutch side, but it should, it's really easy to drive. And I don't know if you can hear the bags from this car, but it's uh, really nice. And as uh, Mikael said uh, before, it's uh, a little bit basic tune upgrades on this car, right? Yeah. Yes. And uh, for a person that never ever has uh, driven this car, I feel uh, pretty confident. I sit really well in the seats. And uh, if you look at the dash and the control board, it's re it's re you see everything. Nothing uh, to worry about. And the steering wheel, I got full grip uh, when I drive it. And you also got a uh, back seat, if you check uh, the back out. So, uh, Mikael, now that I'm driving your car, mm -hmm. uh, do you feel uh, safe? Even if it's my first time? Yeah, sort of. Sort of? <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you mean by that? No, it's good. <laughs> it's good, okay. Uh, because I feel this car is very planted, since it's in stock form, has uh, four-wheel drive. And it, uh, definitely, I definitely feel it when I uh, drive this car because it's all, always planted on the road. So, uh, how much did you pay for this car when you bought it new? The car was oh, just around 345, I think. 
uh, 330 in basic form and then the uh, edition package is around 15,000 extra. So what uh, does it include in the edition package? Um, a few cosmetics like the uh, blackly wrapped roof and uh, spoiler. You have the black mirror caps, uh, then you have these seats. Usually it's uh, also Recaro, but a much thicker, more comfortable seat. Where these are pure pocket seats and with the blue stitching, uh, especially on the edition. And then you have uh, mechanically, you have a limited slip diff on the front, which is not on the regular RS. So a lot more yeah. uh, than the standard version of the car, right? Roughly you get, if you had to spec it out like this, it would cost around 55,000 right. uh, Swedish kronos with the seats, the LS uh, uh, limited slip diff on the front and the uh, visual outside. Yeah, because uh, this has a very special color, yeah. right? It's what? the uh, nitrous blue, nitrous blue. Uh, signature color of the uh, Mark III RS. So it really pops out? Yeah. Because uh, I don't know if you could uh, check through the window. We got, some people are looking. I don't know just because if it's because of the color or just uh, this car sounds a little bit much. <laughs> uh, not sounding that much, but it definitely, you definitely hear it when you accelerate. So it feels uh, really stable. And uh, at the moment we are cruising in a little town called uh, Weberöd in Sweden. It's pretty small, to say the least. So uh, now that we are driving in the city, Mikael, yeah. do you feel uh, safe at the moment? Yeah. Do you feel confident? Do you trust the car more or me? <laughs> uh, I'd say 50-50. <laughs> I totally understand you because uh, it's, this car has cost you a lot of money. So uh, I respect that and I will uh, take it really easy. Unless you tell me to unleash the beast. Yeah. Enjoy it, have fun. Yeah, and uh, we are going uh, to uh, Lund right now, uh, doing some uh, highway pulls and uh, hear all the pop and bangs that this car makes. So uh, I would really consider this a uh, Smile per gallon car. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how many other people have uh, driven your car? Okay. Just one other, I think. Who was that? Uh, a friend of mine in Denmark. In Denmark. Nice. So uh, why would you let me drive this car? Well, or? do a bit of support for the channel and <laughs> let you test out and have some fun. That's, uh, I really appreciate that, so uh, thank you so much for the support. Hey, you're welcome. You can also uh, show Webrot yeah. a little bit of this little town as well. It's a really cozy uh, town, meet in uh, outside of uh, Lund. So it's uh, really easy road to drive on. Nothing fancy, <laughs> nothing special, special about it. But uh, it feels, uh, it's an easy town to drive in, especially with a car like this. So I don't know if you can see, but we are heading back to Lund. To all of you watching from Sweden, you know where I am, hopefully, if uh, you live in uh, Skåne in Sweden. You are there, uh, from the US or Canada, wherever you're watching from, you have to enjoy this uh, view because it's actually a really good road as well to drive and uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, trees and a really nice environment to uh, drive, drive in so uh, you feel very blessed when you drive here in Sweden except the bad roads because Mikael, do you like the bad roads here? Uh, the bad or the back roads? The bad roads. Uh, no. no. Some of them are really shitty. Yeah, I totally agree on that. So, uh, as you can see, a lot of green besides the road. And you have a nice view if you look uh, back, back through the window. We uh, have another really nice car uh, behind us. So, uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this little drive uh, while we're cruising at 100 kilometers at the legal speed. 
So uh, enjoy the view. I don't know if you could see that little yeah. over uh, there. But. And if uh, Mikkel, you just show them around again. It's uh, really nice to drive here. Really good roads. And uh, Mikkel, how has uh, the weather been today so far? Uh, well, basically, as you can see right now, it's been nice and sunny. And then two meters later, it's been heavy rain showers. So every time we got out of the car to do some photos, of course, it will start raining heavily. As soon as we got back in the car, the sun drops out. So, yeah, yeah mixed weather, to say the least. So, uh, what do you think about that? Do uh, you like the rain? Or yeah, do as you long like as I, the sun? As long as I don't have to be out in the rain, it's fine. But definitely prefer the sun for something like this. Yes, I totally understand. That's, uh, that's why we enjoy driving cars in good weather, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Mikkel, I know this is your car. But do you have uh, any other car on your wish list or something like that? Not really at the moment. Uh, I would love to upgrade it to something uh, Porsche Cayman maybe or something like that. But uh, that's further ahead. What type of uh, Cayman uh, do uh, you think of? Definitely the GT4. GT4? Yeah. That's actually one of my dream cars as well. I uh, would love to do a feature on the Cayman GT4. Yeah. So if uh, any one of you uh, see this video that have uh, that has a Cayman GT4, uh, just comment below or uh, send me a direct message, and uh, I will uh, we will fix something. So uh, enjoy uh, this ride, and uh, now it's time to hear the pops and bangs. So are you guys ready? Mikael, are you ready? We're ready. Let's do this. of uh, this review is that uh, I think this car is a really good value kind of a bargain because you got uh, you got five doors you got a really nice back seat you have really nice seats when you drive the driving position is uh, really nice as well so I really like it uh, also that it got a six-speed uh, manual that makes it easier to uh, to not drink so much, of course, it uh, drinks a lot because it's a sport uh, Focus RS. So, I would say a really good car, really good value. So, should you buy this car? Hell yeah, if you have the money, I think you really should buy it. Do you want it as a fun daily? Absolutely. Uh, do you have a family but still don't want to comp compromise? the benefit of having a family and having a lot of space this is definitely the car for you so I would totally recommend this car and uh, if you like this uh, review or my content don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell I release a new video every Sunday I hope you had a really good time uh, enjoying this and uh, have a really good day bye bye